Welcome back to the Girl Cave. Today we're working on our last layout for the month of September using Chamel's Best of Both Worlds kit. Now, her main paper is a gray and I don't remember pulling out a gray or using out a, using a gray already, but I have this one, which is, it's a light faded blue and it has some clouds with rain. I have this beautiful one and I have this grayish blue with some little swirls and then I have this pale wood grain paper. So I don't know which base I'm going to use. Then she's using the very last of the red paper and I'm excited for using the entire sheet. That's going to be amazing. And at the very top she has a strip of yellow paper. Now hers is a yellow paper with white circles which is absolutely beautiful but remember that I was pulling from my stash and I did not have that paper but I have this one with the larger flowers I have this one that has like a sun motif and I have this one that has smaller flowers but it's orange so I'm not really sure which paper I'm going to use yet but these are the pictures that I have to work with from. I have two pictures of my grand dog on a, three pictures of him, on a boating outing that we did. It says Shark Week. His little, his little vest was like the fin of a shark. And he loves water. So we made sure that he was wearing a life vest because we knew for sure that he was going to jump into the river. So we have that. I have pictures of my oldest son getting LASIK. So that has a lot of yellow and it has a little bit of orange right there. And I have more pictures of that boating outing. Uh, some selfies and pictures with family members. I really think I want to do either this one or this one. These are the ones that I really want to focus on because the other ones I can do with the rest of the pictures of that day. But this one, I want to title it Shark Week. And then this one, I don't know, 2020 maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm going to audition the papers and audition the photos and, and see what inspires me. I think I found the papers that I want to use. I'm going to go with these two pictures. And even though this has little clouds with rain that's fine because you know that song I can see clearly now the rain is gone that's my theme <laughs> and I'm going to use the orange paper because his mask has a little bit of orange and just in case I auditioned it with the other paper but I wasn't really liking that for some reason I mean, it works, but eh, it's okay. That works. And then I tried it with the, I just wasn't very sure about these big flowers. I tried it with this one that has the suns, but I did not like how it looks next to the red. You know, sometimes you just have to go with, with that first instinct. And this seems to be what is calling out my name right there. It might be because it's orange and it reminds me of Florida Gator colors, orange and blue. I have orange and a little bit of blue, even though there's not the true Gator colors. And that's what I'm working with. So let me put it together and I'll come back. And here's the layout. This was super quick. You just put the pictures there. I ripped the paper super quick. And then I went through all of my embellishments and I picked anything that had to do with like vision and it was yellow or orange or even red. And then this was a little square, a two inch square. And so was this one, but I wanted the rounded shape because I had the 
smiley face and half of a viewfinder down here so I fussy cut them and then to give it a little bit of cohesiveness because it's it's from everywhere <laughs> I went ahead and inked all the edges with the speckled egg which is very similar to this background color then my title is actually 2020 have vision for your life and has a little pair of glasses I had big sunglasses but they had more of a cat eye and they look kind of feminine so I didn't want to use that for my son's picture but super easy and I left a little space right here because that's where I'm going to put my journaling there's not a lot it's just saying that he got um he chose to have LASIK surgery and then the date so not much to say about that now I'm thinking of a video and for that I'm going to need your help please leave me a comment below and let me know what are you thinking of getting for yourself or asking for the holidays what would you like to receive as a gift for the holidays it can be something small it can be something expensive so anything from maybe you just want some distress oxides or distress inks or maybe you just need some more dollars all the way to maybe you want a cricket or a silhouette what is on your scrapbooking wish list for this year because i'm trying to put my wish list together and i want to make a video so that hint hint our people that are going to be buying for us have something to pull from and get ideas so i want to know what is on your wish list also please give this video a like because that helps promote my video so that it shows up on other people's feed, suggested video feed and come back again next week because i'm gonna go over what is left of this kit because there are a few papers that were left over and who knows, maybe I'll keep working with it or maybe I'll switch to something completely new. <laughs> you never know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I hope to see you again next week right here at the Girl Cave. Bye!